Yesterday, Braun had another great game against the Pelicans. He had 32 points, 6 rebounds, 3 assists, 2 steals, and 2 blocks, shooting 56% from the field. But unfortunately, it wasn't enough to win and it wasn't close at all. They got clapped by 28. Late in the game, Skip Bayless accused LeBron of stat padding. He said LeBron James in year 19 has already played 36 minutes tonight but is still in the game, trailing by 22 points with 5 weight left. To stat pad with easy garbage time buckets as he chases Kareem's all time scoring record. I see where he's coming from, but at the same time, I don't think LeBron was stat padding this game. 5 minutes is still low key a lot of time. A lot can happen in 5 minutes. Tracy McGrady scored 13 points in 33 seconds before, so the Lakers still technically had enough time to win, even though it was very slim. Ironically, Bron got out the game at the same time he made that tweet though. I don't know why I skip is saying Bron is stat padding to pass Kareem though. He's going to pass Kareem regardless. Right now, he's only a few hundred points away from passing Karl Malone, and he's about 2,000 points away from passing Kareem. If Bron plays like he always does, he should pass him by the end of next season, so he don't need a stat pad for that. It's going to happen regardless at this point. All he got to do is stay healthy. It's looking real ugly for the Lakers right now, though. Lately, they've literally been one of the worst teams in the league. Ever since Desmond Bain told LeBron them footsteps ain't scaring nobody, the Lakers only been 6-14. and 14. Only the Rockets have less wins than that during that span. That's crazy right there. At this point, it's safe to say the Lakers aren't winning the chip. Shit, they might not even go to the playoffs, but who knows at this point. How y'all think they're going to finish out the season though? Let me know in the comments. And if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more vids. Peace.